Can't wake up. Ah, you did wake up. Hey there, everyone. This is Zao Cow playing Sunnydale. And, man, so, okay. Yeah, I could return to the stranger and, like, start being a bit more scientific there. And, or, I could try and get to the Southern Observatory and maybe not look around the North Pole this time. All of those. Hey, look at that. It's the scout module. All of those. Very credible. But you know what I really want to do? Ever since the beginning of this game, you know, I kind of had this concept of this world tour that I'm following where I am visiting every place that you can land on. And although I've went most places, there's one area that has eluded me up until now, and that is the satellite orbiting around the sun, taunting me, teasing me. Like, obviously I can't just go and land there, right? But, one day, I've learned that the Nomai have the ability to teleport. And since then, I've been like, well, thou cow, what if we just find the teleport? And so I just kind of had that project put on the back burner. And you're like, alright, wow, you, we are, we are close. But... Anyways, then I found out that you have all the teleporters buried inside the sand. And I'm like, alright. And yeah, that's a sentence I just said, that doesn't mean anything, but you get what I'm saying, right? So yesterday... I was exploring on the Ash Twin, you know, just kind of looking around. I had some time. And I found a spiky building that had uh, writings in it about the sun base. And going inside this warp turns out to be like kind of a nightmare. And when I did find, you know, that secondary entrance, Oops, it turns out it's full of cactus and like just kind of like this big old like thing. And so this is why this is what I want to do. I don't know how long it'll take to evacuate the amount of sand that's going to have to leave. But I'm willing to wait. And so uh, I will because I'm willing to just make sure I'm not where the sand column is. And we're gonna try and do the cactus run, I guess. Is that truly our destiny? Maybe it is. Man, I'm trying to match velocity, but it's not doing. Like, look at that. Like, I keep like swaying. Oh, maybe it's because I'm being pulled by. No, see there, I'm rushing towards it, but like, I'm holding velocity, velocity, velocity. Wait, is it this building shaped like the sun, High Moon? Because I've been wondering... Well, wondering. I've been looking for labels on these buildings. When I realized that it looked to be like one... Well, possibly one warp per building. Now I wonder. That one is just special because it's the sun. So they made it look like the sun. Well, if there is an aspect of, hey, you gotta get here, it would make sense to make it, like, easily recognizable. Is that my back entrance over there that I can see? Yeah, see, here's the main entrance. That's broken off. And here, then, is the back entrance. Wow, okay. Uh, I don't have access to it yet, obviously. Uh, maybe? Can I crawl in? Like, that's a door. Right? Yeah! Oh! Wait, no, yeah, then there's cactus, so... Okay, cactus path. So it's not... Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm suing! <laughs> 
Okay, so it doesn't take that long to be able to get a not a try in. <sighs> Though now I wonder. Because the game is just not that mechanically demanding, right? Is it actually a thing where you gotta go in while the sand is draining? And it's more of a timing thing? So, float around in orbit until I can see traces of sand being removed. Spot the tower that is shaped exactly like the sun and then park myself right next to where the door is gonna be so I can run in because yeah the door is higher than I thought I remembered it being that might be why power in the sun and I know that the entrance I want the sand column goes into. Wow, yeah, no kidding. You can just kind of... Uh, like, I don't want to get captured by... Is this the wrong door? I might be on the wrong end. Okay, well, that's fine. That's the main entrance. I had it backward. Oh boy. Yeah, so like, that's the main entrance. So I'm gonna wanna go like around here. Can't see it yet. Uh, oh boy. Okay, but you can see the lights though. The light fixtures are there to guide me. No, 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 no. Don't kidnap me, guy. Not today. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, what, you know what? Yeah, bump my face into pieces. All up in this place. Check it out. Where's all the sand going? It's draining into the ground and things. All right, so then I can... Yo, look at that. I can just Mario Kart my way between all the cacti. That makes a lot more sense than trying to, like, actually float here. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, my poor suit! Uh, but here I am. That plant is not giving me friends. And here's the proper entrance. I guess I can try and open it. I'm just confirming that this is where it's all broken down. Okay, all right, well, that took a lot less work than I thought it would, but isn't that just like what this game does? Like, it's all about figuring it out, right? All right, and the hope is that I can greet the sun, not Giants Deep. I've been there. There's a satellite. Yo! Oh! Oh! Yo! Okay! Finally! Oh, here we go, wall. Finally, my world tour is completed. And also, I'm at a new place. Don't worry about it. They got potted prickly plants for fun. Why am I here? I don't know what they do here. I just knew that this exists. Oh, jeez. So, the Nomai have been inactive for a while. Oh, okay, maybe. That's about when this started, right? Warning, open it, all right. And because it's the emergency door, it's super inconvenient. Well, maybe for Nomai, this is really easy. I hope there are trees here. Mine space. Oh, where am I? Uh, oh boy, uh, um. Where am I going? Like, there's a door here-ish. Oh boy, uh... Alright, you know what, let's try and get in there, I guess? Okay, so, this structure, whatever it may be, lightly damaged. Resale value is gonna suffer. 
Okay. Woo! And there's trees here. Okay. The music is getting intense. <laughs> here we got no my equipment. Here's a speaking staff. Here's their space suit, space backpack. There's a few of them. Yeah, I know there's a there's a there's a use net thing. I'm just kind of looking here. Don't worry about it. Why am I here? Science compels us to explode the sun. Pi. Wow. A no my in my image. <laughs> What? You guys are destroying the universe? Why are you doing this, Pi? Okay. Wow. <laughs> um. What though? It's you? You did you are doing this? Oh, where am I going from here? Well, um I guess I guess I hope there's glass down there. It looks pretty open. Why is this? Here's a memory mask, interestingly enough. Oh boy, okay, there's a lot going on here. Um there is a lot going on, actually. Uh, stars reach end of natural life cycle, now approaching red giant stage. Yeah, okay. I got two minutes. And f oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I gotta log that in right quick, right? You need to play. What is this? It's an Omai holding the sun and the eye of the universe in scales in Egyptian fashion. Cool, great, awesome. Uh, this is, I need, I need reading panel. I need something to put there, and something to put there. But I'm, I didn't see any. Did I miss one? Um, because this here seems pretty important. Okay, I'm. There's a hallway. There's a hallway somewhere. I remember this is where I come from. Wasn't there not a hallway? Was it like here maybe? Oh no. The hallway is where I come from here. Gosh. Uh, is that okay? That's a reading. Ashwin projection stone. All right. Um. Let's put it here in a projector from the hashed win. It's the mask. There's me, there's Frogger, and there's Solanum, probably, right? Oh, I don't know why it was all golden. But that's freaky. I need to put this in a reading tablet before I get eaten. Okay, sorry for being all prey style here. Uh, did the sun station not fire? Fired, but it fell, so barely responded. So they did something to the sun to maybe make it go supernova, but then it didn't. Even to the third, the third eye is stronger? What does that mean? Uh, what does this mean? That's when a lot of them die. Well, this is when they go into the interloper, burst the bucket, and then ghost matter invades the system. So did they cause a domino effect that eventually caused the sun to explode? Or is this the actual natural life cycle of the sun? Because the meter, suppose, ugh, that's one of them. Because the meter suggested that the, the, that I read, 
suggests that it is natural life cycle. I mean, it's been 200,000 and change years since the Nomai did anything, so I guess this, maybe the sun was already getting old by the time they got here. So they might have caused the sun to explode, or maybe they just caused it to age prenaturally fast. Either or, it is believable to think that the Nomai may have caused the end of my solar system. But the question is, what does has have to do with the eye of the universe? Because they put the eye and the sun at equal level. And that has to mean something. 